This is the new template design for the schools and here in the home page we have two options for the admin. One is hall design and branch entry and next is the students name entry. First go to hall design. There are options for 31 halls and enter the name of the hall or the numbers and then you can enter the classes. So here there is from 10th A to 12 D totally 12 classes and still you can add three more classes here if you want to increase it then contact us after entering all these details go to home page and go to students name entry in this page if you want the name of the students you can enter or no need leave it and enter the names here also for example i have entered the roll number and surely you need to enter what class they are so it is 12A, here it is 11A. So for example, I have entered three classes, 10A, 11A and 12A. After entering all such details and how many students you have, here I have given provision for entering up to 1000 students. If the count is more than that, you can contact us. So after entering all such details in the admin corner, you can start here, enter the school name, select the date, I am going to select it is let it be 20 and enter the detail if you want to add still more details in the seating page or any other page contact us after that press next it will land you to the seating page so this is the portion so this is the portion where your seating comes but you want to enter the details at your right First you need to enter the hall number, so I am entering here the hall 1 and here also we can enter like this. First of all, I need to check the right side, this portion, which are the classes have exam. So all those students and their counts are displayed here. I have exam for 3 classes, one is 10A, another one is 11A, another one is 12A. And total students is also displayed here 22 28 26 and there's zero students allotted let me allot the 10th year students and here the row 1 row 2 3 row 3 this is row 1 this is row 1 this is row 1 again row 2 is second one row 2 row 2 again third is the last row and the count for each row is also given row 1 is 15 row 2 is 15 and row 3 is 15 so totally we have 15 capacity in each row so how this 15 comes means it is displayed here if you want to increase the row count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you can increase up to 7 if I increase the row count of 1 to 7 then it shows here there are 17 seats so 7 plus 5 plus 5 so this is the place where you can change the count I am just entering it as common 5 5 if you want don't want to allow students in any of the rows you can change the row count here now 15 so what I'm doing for 10th A I'm allocating 15 students and it is up to you to select which row they want to sit it can be the first second or third I'm selecting first row next I'm choosing 11 A allocating them 15 students again and I'm choosing the row 3 see they have seated in row 3 201 is 11 a serial number and next I'm selecting 12th A because we have a 12th A and then I'm entering 15 and then row 2 that's it if you enter mistake row 2 it shows here the error reduce students from row 2 because it is more than the allotted you are allotted more than the students so i need to check it out i'm changing it so let me change it to row 3 that's it now row 1 is full row 2 is full row 3 is full okay if i change the count of row 3 to 7 in the first bench it shows two these left in row 3 so if you want to add those two students there you can do that so that's why it's a very you know, advanced sheet with lot of options if you want to add any other options we can do that you can contact us 
Now see the total students is displayed here and I've allotted 15 students in each branches. It is each classes. It is displayed here. Likewise, you can do the to the next hall. First of all, the first thing you have to do is you have to select the hall, hall two, and let me see how many students are there. So total is 22, 15 is allotted, and still seven students remaining in 10A. So what I'm going to do, I'm allocating those seven students in row one. Yes, seven is allotted. Here. Here there is one, two, three, four, five, and here is only two. So what I'm doing, I want to adjust the count. I am making this as three, or make this as four, so it is somewhat balanced. Next, eleven a. We can allocate thirteen students, so I'm going to allocate all the thirteen students, eleven a, and making them to sit in row two. Done. Next, try the twelve a. There are 11 students left and in row 3. Done. It is very beautiful sheet. If I want to adjust the count till, for example, if I don't want to allocate students in this row, make reduce the count. I'm making it to 4 and here also 4. four now all students are allotted the seats go to the print section command p or control p if you are using microsoft office so this is the page it displays very beautiful colorful you can take the direct print out it's very easy method it takes very less time even it doesn't make mistake so all things are automatic it doesn't make mistake so stay connected with us, still we are here to help you and be a partner in your exam cell with many advanced sheet without any VBA, without any software, we are only working on Excel formula. Thank you. Thank you for selecting Shine Excel seating template as your exam cell partner. We have fully automated and semi-automated sheets for schools, colleges and universities. Also, we have uploaded the videos for all the versions of the template which are in use. So while contacting us, don't forget to mention the version name and that will help us to trace what your requirement is. If your requirement is not found in any of our demo videos, then you can apply through the link which is given below. Also, we have designed a special template for conducting the exams in the Polytechnic Colleges in Tamil Nadu. The version name is TN Poly.